Hello, I'm Potomy. Today I'll be working on the, the size adjustments for all character models in Blender. I'll also be showcasing the update we have for our mod. I added five new mobs, which will be on my Patreon during this week, so make sure to have all your notifications on. By the way, the, the mod is free, but also if you decide to support our Bloodborne Recreate project, you'll gain permanent access to the full Yarnum City and Cathedral Warden map with the texture pack I made. With that said, Thank you all for the support, and I hope you enjoyed the video! So we have like around 24 models, 25, 26. I just want to visualize everything, so I, you know, just lay everything down and just see size comparison. Uh, okay, it's circle. Gotcha. Then to move around, circle and then stick. Damn, this guy's humongous. Okay. Mmm, little one. Hey. Damn, that guy's huge. His back is bent, too. I think if he just stands up, it'll be, like, like stretched. There's a lot. The fuck? <laughs> Ew, gross. Look at that dick. It has those jiggle effects. Damn. Thick boy. There's a way to like make it so we can see the textures. Just I don't remember. Okay, yeah, this one, this one. I bet this thing stinks as hell. Okay. <gasps> nice buddy. Oh, she's humongous. She is humongous. Nice furry. There is a church servant, doll, and kidnapper. Hey. Hello, good hand. <laughs> Small. That's all we have right now. That's all we have. Also, there is going to be a Megdala cube. And we need the hunter. Oh, there's our hunter. Hunter. Karyudo sama. Our amazing hunter. Hunter. Wanna hunt? Nice reflexes, bro. Despawn that shit. Despawn that shit. Okay, I can't seem to find the player. The fuck? Berserk? Darkness Fallen Hunter. Yami Otsu Hunter. Really? Oh. It's you. Oh, well, anyways, we have all of. My big boy. Big boy. Okay, anyways, I'm getting distracted. Right now, since all characters are set, we can now dive into starting the scale adjustments for each mob in Blender. Starting with the Cleric Beast! Bigger. Wait, no, actually no, it's pretty accurate in its size. <laughs> it's humongous. Yeah, so these guys, the scale are, of the executioner is kinda good in this perspective, but when we kind of move out, damn. Oh. So what is the big brain, bro? Big Chungus. Chungus getting closer. Big Chungus running. Running. <laughs> Long Chungus. Thin Chungus. Big chungus. Me? Yeah, I think around that. Is it that big? No way. It's bigger than the. What do you mean? It can't be bigger than the the troll. No way. <laughs> big chungus. <laughs> big chungus flying. Big chungus. <laughs> big chungus dead. <laughs>
have Nightspring already updated the mod. He added the Scourge Beast and the Rotted Corpse. These two. These two. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a little brief test. Let's see what they look in game. Oh yes. At the end we're gonna have the eyes glow too. Uh, have three variations of it. The white eyes, blue eyes, and the red eyes. The red eyes are going to be like the most strongest, I guess. Yeah, the hands are a little bit buggy. Where did it go, buddy? <laughs> there were two animations, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Did they run? Yeah, we should definitely make it make them run too. Man, that'd be so fun. Oh, it doesn't do its hurt animation. Yeah, because we ha we haven't made a stagger system yet. So I think that's mainly where the hit animation is going to be played at. Oh wait, it, did it just re reset its position? Yeah, it's doing that. It seems like it's spawning the the hit collision. Yeah, around its body part. They're they're pretty fast too. That's creepy. And number C. Ooh. Hello there. Welcome to the living. I believe when you get closer, he changes his weapon mode to sword. Yeah. Beautiful. I thought they change weapon states. Change their states. This is this is weird. Rifle and saber. Yeah, this one. Location cathedral. Oh, saber. Central. Central Yarnum. Are there any? I love how aggro he is. Keeps falling. Oh, he can't. He can't go over there. Okay, there you go. Run! <laughs> He's crazy aggro. I like that. Gramps. Do you move? Oh yeah, we also we also have the turning animations too, which is this. I can't see it, but this and this. There's like two two types of it, right and left. So essentially, when the player is right next to him, and if he can see me, he'll trigger his animation. Oh yes. Let's play Bloodborne. <laughs> Just shot him. <laughs> oh, nice. This is fun. I know it's still in the early stage of the mod. It's fun already. That's cool. That's really cool. Holy shit. <sighs> this is nice. Oh, what a great view too. <laughs> it's so <laughs> It's so awkward without having any sounds. Dude, that's nasty. That part is funky. Oh, awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. Here I want to talk about the plans and ideas I have for the current part of the project. I'll be talking about the animations and mystic stuff that I don't even remember. Let's start by talking about the animations. Currently we have modeled every character from Yarnum, and all we need now are the animations. Anello, our modeler animator, has been working on them and has completed a significant portion of them. However, there's still a lot of work left. 
we need to recruit more animators because because right now there's about approximately 240 animations left i think 114 are done which is big what we need is mainly idle walk back walk right left run turn fall hit death and attacks so if you're interested in creating animations for these characters i'm i'm open on twitter so send me a dm and let's talk for the programming parts plans, we are developing an editor system that gives us full control over our mod. Our plans include creating and implementing event controls, enemy controls and spawns, and the placement of characters and objects. Essentially a debugging system. If you're a Java programmer and would like to help us, throw me a DM on Twitter. Okay, that's all for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. That means a lot. Also, in the last video's comments section, I was really happy to see your reactions there. It really makes me appreciate the content and the excitement I'm able to create with you all. And understanding that brought me a smile. And also, thank you so much to my Patreons. I wouldn't be able to create such content without your support and you have my gratitude. But yeah, uh, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and do whatever, man. There's something makes me really happy. It forces me to smile. Even though I don't have a face. But yeah, I hope you have a good one. Good one. Good one. Be seeing you in the next video. Peace. Peace. The fuck. What do you mean peace? I don't. I don't say.